Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The great cricketing legend Ian Botham has entered the European debate. We should go out and stand proud, he said, just like he once did for the England cricket team. So it's beefy for out, clocks and for in. Maybe they should just fight it out. And it is an increasing trend. There is Clooney for Clinton, DeVito for Bernie Sanders, Charlotte Church for Corbyn, Sarah Palin for Trump. Well, listen, you take what you can get. So does it make the slightest bit of difference? <laughs> Do you think Johnson is doing? Who? Let's bomb Russia! I've got Mr. Obama sitting here. Uh, how do you handle it? I mean, what do you say to people? And what was it about the broadcast that made you, uh, that made you join? Be quite honest, nothing. <laughs> You've got to vote Labour. You've got to get the Conservative Party out. I haven't got time to hang out with Russell Brand. This is more important. He is one of Britain's greatest actors, Sir Michael Caine. You may think to yourself, what the hell is he doing here? I hope that it does a bit more than just blow the bloody doors off. Grace, does a celebrity endorsement work for you? Um, does it make any difference at all? Well, uh, it, I think they are. I think it's good to have a celebrity on board sometimes to get the issue out there. But with politics, I mean, that film just sh just summed it up beautifully. Because you can't you can't marshal them once they're out there because <laughs> the, you know you you can't do the three line whip to get them to say what you want to say. So this morning I'm saying about being a shy and terrified Brexiteer, and then you get up and it's Ian Botham. <laughs> You know, and I, like, neither shy. Much, I'm not being <laughs> well, Exactly, you do. I mean, he's he's a very nice man, I'm sure, but he kind of sums up a side of Britain that maybe I don't want to be massively associated with. But do you think it has an influence when he embarks? I mean goes that in a lovely way, but <laughs> yeah. he's not. You know, I haven't got a poster of him on my wall. That's all I'm saying. Well, that's about. maybe where you're going wrong. <laughs> did, 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 uh, does it make any difference? Do you think he'll sway people? Um, I think, will he sway people? Yeah, I mean, when someone I think like he'll him sway a certain him. portion of people to maybe think a certain demographic, a very small demographic of people will follow what he says. But there's a, there's a few weeks to go. Now he's come out as what he's going to be. Mm. We need, he, he's got so many weeks where he could make an enormous faux pas. We, you can't marshal celebrities. <laughs> you can't stop them. You can't watch them. You can't say, thank you for adding your voice to this. Now, can you just stay in the house for 10 weeks and not say anything else? Because, you know, that, that suddenly they're drunk on power thinking, oh, I'll give an interview. And it's, it, it's, yeah, I think it's a very, very precarious thing. Ian Botham quiet for weeks. That would be a, a story. <laughs> Alison, what do you, did you make of Beefy getting involved? Well, I thought he was exactly the kind of, you know, great sort of, you know, been at the crease, taken England through thick and thin. I think he's a really, he's a really good advocate for Brexit. I was very glad to see him kind of join our side. But I think in general, I think in, in Britain, I think it works in America. I mean, Hillary's got J-Lo's come out for Hillary, um, Beyonce's come out for Hillary, you know, all these big people. George Clooney is holding a lottery to have dinner at his house mm -hmm. if you vote for Hillary Clinton. I would vote for George Galloway if I could go and have dinner, <laughs> dinner, with, dinner with George Clooney. So, but here, it's all a bit, it's all a bit embarrassing we saw Kenny Everett in the clip it's always sort of Jim Davidson or and Jerry Halliwell said that Margaret Thatcher was the sixth spice girl and he thought what's she gonna be very 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 scary spice you know <laughs> uh, so I think it's always kind of quite cringing and when you see them you just think oh no please don't try and be cool Tony Blair cool Britannia it was just mortifying wasn't it oh, who can forget that Martin <laughs> you are of course are a celebrity I dare I say well you're very well known and you must have political parties queuing up to get your endorsement at least on their figures I think and their you, you equations, have to be careful, dare I not, say. Well, you know what? The key is celebrities can make noise, but I think they only work if they've got resonance, if they resonate with the issue. Mm. So if you look at 
the campaigns I get involved in. Now, I'm a journalist, and, and I hope that they resonate on certain issues. People ask me to get involved in campaigns on the retrospective hike in student loan fees, which is a national disgrace, Mr Osborne. Mm. I've been very involved in that one. On the waspy pensions issue, which we have, where women of a certain age aren't getting their pensions, again, Mr Osborne, I've been very involved in that one. <laughs> I have to say, on help to buy ISIS, and on the marriage tax allowance, which are your policies, I've been very helpful in communicating those to people because they're good policies. Mm -hmm. So if they resonate. But people get asked me to be involved in um, their local hospital is closing down. Or there's an issue about what drugs are available on the NHS and what aren't. And they get upset when I say no. But the point is, I have no resonance in those fields. I'm just a guy off the telly when it comes to those. Whereas in these I other subjects... But only on the stuff... I listen if I to came you. and told you what car... What colour car to drive... I'd still probably listen <laughs> to you. <laughs> you can do that in the... You can do that in the... very persuasive You can do that in the green room later. We'll do the car <laughs> sales <laughs> later. I don't Seems think... I would quite like a new car as well. Can we talk I about that? I don't think Ian Botham has a particular resonance, just because he was a wonderful, amazing cricketer, on whether you should vote in or right in Europe, and I don't think he would make that much of a difference. Okay. So, so uh, you know... George, you must have been... Absolutely gutted when Russell Brand came out. It must have been a, a, you know, a key moment in the last election. Do you look for? I mean, do you think they matter? This is this is where you can put off any celebrity yeah. who's considering endorsing yeah. you. I, 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 do they matter I, well, more in America? You follow American well, politics closely? Well, than I, I actually, I agree with uh, with Alison that you know, America it's always Beyonce and uh, <laughs> kind of George Clooney, and it never quite feels like that in British politics. Uh, but I, but I agree with uh, Martin that it's really about you know whether they're speaking with passion, they could obviously bring a lot of attention to your cause. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you a kind of example, a very unfashionable cause, but a really you know, important one, was this campaign to prevent uh, violence against women in warfare, i.e. You know, mm -hmm. when armies just go in and rape all the women mm -hmm. in a particular yeah. area. And you know, there have been loads of kind of UN resolutions about it, and it's never got any attention until Angelina Jolie yeah. got involved and more than you know turned up for one stunt you know she she'd come again and again goes back to the cause mm. raises it raises it every time she travels anywhere and but you, can't, you can be very cynical about these mm. things but there are people's lives who have been improved by what she's done so you know I would say it comes down to authenticity <coughs> like so many of these things you know does this person you know, really believe this? Are they? Do they know what they're talking about? Are they, are they using their celebrity for authentic reasons? I think so if, we, can we, if we just yeah. stand that there's a subtle difference in that, and what the work she's done is wonderful, and I think you're quite right. But of course, in that, it's an issue that we all think what's going on, you know, raping yeah. women in warfare is a horrendous yeah. thing. So actually what's needed for that is noise and attention. Whereas in the in, the de in or out debate, it's a polemic issue where we mm. don't all think the same thing. So can they persuade you to change your okay. mind? There's a subtle difference, okay, well, I think, in, on, in the in the On that, have you got anyone at your sleeve for the Remain campaign? <laughs> <laughs> no, Someone come... <laughs> well, George Clooney. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if you can and, produce uh, George yeah. Clooney, you've got I, Alison I, before I, we've I, even yeah. talked oh, about anything else. Grace and I will uh, be, you know, over the would, fence, won't we? Would George Clooney do it for you, <laughs> Alison? Would that finally bring you over the line? Well, it's called being on the Brents, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it would have to be George Clerk, Clooney, and Brad Pitt. And all right, uh, okay. This, uh, uh, God, this is a <laughs> this is a late night program. I don't <laughs> think we should go there. Um, Tom Hardy, no, you no, no, no. Right, let's take a look at the front pages our guests would like to see. Uh, let's hope they don't involve George Clooney. Alison, you go first. So I think that the, um, one of the funniest uh, tactics of the Remain campaign has been uh, to get foreign people to say, hug a Brit. Now, anyone who knows anything about British people would know we run a million miles away from physical contact, particularly with large, sweaty Belgians. So I just thought this would be a really nice... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm hug my Liebling. <laughs> Boris and Angler, yes, that's, uh, that's a sight worth seeing. I think that, yes. there is a movie in that yes, somehow. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Martin. OK, and it is... My, my headline is, shh, don't mention mortgages. <laughs> because there's a thing called the Mortgage Credit Directive that's come from the EU, which the way it's been interpreted in the UK, and I don't think we've interpreted it right, means that we have people who are trying to remortgage at the moment, so they want to get a cheaper deal on their mortgage, nothing has changed, but they're being rejected because they can't meet affordability criteria. In other words, they're being told you can't afford a cheaper deal. Now, it's a European Union directive, I think, miscorrectly interpreted into the EU, into the UK, but I think this is one of those big 
ticking time bombs that we're going to face in this EU debate. And Mr Osborne, please sort it out. People are on, stuck on very high interest rates, standard variable okay. rates. If interest rates go up, we're in trouble. And there we need go. to allow people to remortgage to cheaper deals. Another thing for your in-tray. Grace? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I said that I don't have um, a picture of Beefy on my wall, so you kindly mop me one up, and this is... <laughs> Beefy says time to get out. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It should be on everyone's wall. And I'm uh, going to be taking Is that actually this... him in the bath? It is him oh in the bath. Oh, my God. It's a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, not, let's not go I'm there. I'm going to be taking this home with me <laughs> later. Yeah. Um, George, have you got a, a shot of Beefy in the bath well, for first us? First of all, I will, I'll look at this problem, yeah. and if it is a British thing, then, you know, we well, should can, be able to do can, something can, about it. Can too. you meet me on it? Please? Yeah. I'll, I'll happily meet you and talk Thank about it. Thank you very much. Um, but I always find it difficult to try and think of a picture, so I thought I'd come up with this, which is the vote leave plan for Brexit, Brexit <laughs> revealed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's subtle, George, I'll give you that. Um, OK, so you're not really in favour of their tactics and Well, there was a, there was attack our plan. Where's their plan? <laughs> yeah. OK. I've been